Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Emily and this is Magical Moments with M. As you can see, I'm in a totally different place and that's because I am on spring break. So I am at home and I figured it would be a good thing to do since I don't really have any homework to do a giant closet clean out of all of my clothes. Not all of them, but like all the things that I don't wear, the things that are old that I just know I won't wear again. I'm gonna clean everything out and I'm probably also going to move my winter stuff back into storage and bring out some of my spring and summer stuff because I don't think I'll be needing heavy sweaters now. So that's part of the plan today. I'm gonna do that first. And I'm also gonna unpack what I brought from school. I brought some sweaters and things that I don't think I'll need anymore. So I'm gonna do that. And then we'll get to the infamous closet clean out. So if you like this kind of video, keep on watching. Subscribe to my channel, I would love it. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the before of my whole room. So this is the bag that I brought back home with me. It's got a bunch of like sweaters and heavy things in it that I think I'm gonna put away, which will be done probably in here is where I'm gonna be doing all of my like sweater clean out. So these three drawers all have sweaters in them. And then this drawer has like heavy leggings and stuff, which I'm also probably gonna put away or at least some of them. Um, this drawer just has all of my like basic necessities. So I'm not gonna worry about that. In here, Hello, <laughs> is my closet. So this is all of the heavy things, most of them anyway. And then it goes all the way down to the other side. And on the other side is all of my like spring summer stuff. That's a little nicer. So I'm gonna go through all of this and see what I want to keep and what I want to give away. There's also some pants on this side that I'm probably gonna clean out because some of the things in the very back I don't really wear anymore. So this is what we're working with. This is the before. So yeah, I think I'm going to first just do a regular like clean up declutter, put these miscellaneous shoes away, probably reorganize my bedside table and yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get to work. Walk into the place, I spot you from a race. My heart, it started racing. Crowd across the way. All right, so I emptied out my travel bag that I had brought from home as well as these three drawers. So now they all look like this. <laughs> um, so this is sort of the aftermath of that. Over there is one sweater that I think I'm gonna give away. There's another sweater that I got for like a gift that I haven't put away yet because I'm probably gonna give that one away too. In fact, let's just put that over there, I'll refold it. <laughs> Um, but these are the things I'm gonna keep out because they're still relatively light. Also, like, you never know in spring in the south and the mountains what's gonna happen with weather. So I left those out and then all of these things are gonna be put away because they're all super heavy sweaters. Not super heavy, These this pile is like medium heavy. So I don't know if I'll leave these out or not. Probably not because I can deal with whatever's in my closet for the time being. But I know these two stacks are totally definitely being put away. So I'm going to go get out my boxes with my spring and summer stuff. And we'll take those things out and put these things in those boxes. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel farther these three are boxes that have either summer clothes in them or like summer shoes so I want to figure out which one's which <laughs> and my bed is getting so full but I'm still gonna have to empty these out figure out what I really want to keep and what I don't want to keep and then what I do want to keep I'm gonna put in these drawers these three drawers it probably won't fit everything because sweaters are a lot bigger and bulkier than summer things so i might even have extra room which is nice um but yeah i'm gonna go through this pick out what i want and don't want and then put them in the drawers i can't feel farther away wait on a moment to say that i want you you know one box down <laughs> 
This had a lot of just like spring clothes and exercise outfits and stuff. Also a couple spring pajamas. I didn't get rid of a whole lot of things. I must have done a closet cleanup when I transitioned into fall, which might be why I don't have very many things left. But this is a lot of like, I've had some of this stuff since like middle school. I don't know why I've not gotten rid of it, but probably because it's just pretty, but I haven't worn them in literally years. So that's why I'm not keeping them. And then those two shirts are just old and they just need to be thrown away. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, not thrown away, given away. That's what I meant. Um, so I'm gonna take some of these sweaters and put them in this now empty box and then we'll put some of these things in the drawers. All right, so the first thing that I do obviously is set it out so that it's nice and flat to work with. Because I'm a girl, a lot of the things that I wear are fitted so sometimes they won't lay straight. So the first thing that I do is I take sort of the edge of the sleeve and like the bottom and I bring it up halfway and then I meet the sleeve halfway like this and then I'll take the sleeve that's extra and sort of fold it down like this so that there's a nice little crease here and then we'll do the same thing on the other side bring this meet it on the other side bring the sleeve over like so and take the sleeve that's extra and fold it down like this. So now it's all this like nice long log. <laughs> and then I'll just bring this halfway. So I filled up this whole box. I have extras, so we're gonna empty another one. But first, let's put this stuff in one of the drawers. <laughs> that way I have room. But mom is in the fade and you're too far away for me to get my name in. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel firm. All right, second box is done. <laughs> progress is being made. So I have an empty box right here that I'm going to put some more of these sweaters in and then we'll just do the whole process until everything is done. So I'm not going to really talk through the rest of this. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I can't feel further away. Oh, wait on the moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. boxes of sweaters are done. This box is completely empty so I don't know what we're going to do with it. Most of my other spring stuff is all put away. I still have to do a little bit here and there of like putting things away and stuff. This is all like spring pajamas. This is just like leggings that can be put away. So yeah, I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff away and then we'll get to my closet. So it's a couple hours later. I had some food, took a little break, watched some YouTube. And so now we're gonna get back to the whole closet cleaning thing. Let me show you what I have so far. So these three boxes are all filled with clothes. The top one has like heavy pants and leggings and stuff in it. The bottom two have sweaters. So those will all get put into storage. Um, these are the things that are be given away so far. Those have to go back in my closet. So now we get to tackle the infamous closet. So yay. I think what we're gonna do is probably start with the pants just because it'll take a little less time to go through them and then we'll go to the summer and short sleeve stuff and then we'll end with the winter stuff. All right so the first thing that I'm gonna do is take all of my pants out whether I'm gonna keep them or not and put them on my bed. So here we go. All right so this is all of my pants. Um, I, I'm aware that it's a little excessive, which is why we're going through them today. So let's, uh, 
go through these, figure out what I'm going to keep and not keep, and the stuff that I'm keeping I'll put back in my closet, and the stuff that I'm not keeping I'll take off the hangers and put in this pile that's somewhat small right now. It's probably going to end up going on the ground because <laughs> I'm going to be taking a lot of things out of this pile, I feel like. So, let's get to work. And if you could read my mind. So the pile's gotten a little bigger. I have four pairs of pants here that I know I'm giving away. These things are things that I'm not sure about or need to try on. So I'm gonna do that, see what I wanna keep, see what I wanna throw away. I know I have two pairs, they're under here. There they are. I have two pairs of khakis and they look so similar, but I don't remember why I got a new pair and which one was the old one. So I need to find out which one was the old pair and which one was the new pair. These ones are a little thinner, and then these ones are a little thicker, like a true khaki material. So I need to figure out which ones I like better, and then we'll give those away. There's also this pair of jeans that still have a tag on them, so I'm assuming that I liked them, but I'm gonna try them on just to be sure. And then the other thing that I'm a little unsure about are these pants. I just don't wear them. I love them, but I don't really wear them much. I feel like if I had something to wear with them, then I would wear them more, but they're like just this nice, like light cotton material. I think I've worn these, these, and these once or twice before. I normally wear them like traveling on long car rides or on airplanes or something like that because they're just comfortable. But yeah, we're gonna try on these, see what I like and don't like. Okay, so each hanger had a pair of pants on them that are now in this pile. I think I did pretty good. I have a couple pairs of pants that are at school still and that I just absolutely love to the point where I wear them every day, but yeah. These things, I think, are a good selection of stuff to keep. So, I took off my jacket again. It was getting a little warm, but I have definitely made progress. You can see in my closet there's nothing in there yet because this is what we're working with. So those are the things that I'm probably not keeping, but I need to make sure that I'm not keeping. And then these are the things that I'm probably going to end up keeping. I'm expecting to get rid of most of my long sleeve stuff because I think I went through my closet a couple years ago and got rid of a bunch of short sleeve things. So this is all like things that I know that I'll wear or things that I would probably need, something like maybe an internship or like an interview sort of situation. But these are the things that I probably am not keeping. There's something in here. I have like two long sleeve white t-shirts in here and I need to figure out which one I want to keep and which one I don't want to keep because I feel like I don't need two of the same shirt. So I'm gonna go through these, make sure I really don't want them. This is my mom. She let me wear one time and then I just never like put it in her closet. I guess she put it in mine. So I'm gonna ask her if she wants this and if she doesn't want it, then I'm gonna toss it with everything else. But yeah, that's the pile of things that are probably going away. I've had this short sleeve t-shirt for so long. I think I got this in like eighth grade. Keep in mind, I was Eighth grade's like 13 years old. I'm 20 now, so I've had this for seven years. Um, it's definitely been worn a lot, but I think it's time for this shirt. Like the little hanging straps are like withering away, so I think it's time to give this a new home. And then this shirt, I actually, <laughs> my dad found this. Um, we got it at Disney World. It's this little, I think it's a men's shirt. I can't tell. Um, there's no really, like, it's a small, so I'm assuming it's a men's shirt because this thing is huge on me. Um, but my dad literally found this. I think someone bought it and it fell out of their bag and they just never came to get it. And my dad found this on the sidewalk at Animal Kingdom in Disney World and was like, hey, you want it? And I was like, all right, I guess, but I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to wear it. So I think we're going to give this one away. This is another shirt that I've had since probably earlier than 8th grade, probably like 7th grade. Um, I only really kept it because of St. Patrick's Day, but I have some other things that I like to wear instead of this now, so I think this is going to go away. I was going to give this away, but I realized that it's a nice basic thing to have. The material is a little thick, but it's just like a plain blank navy blue t-shirt, and I feel like it is probably something that I should probably keep. So we're going to keep this one. Alright, so here's the pile of giveaways so far. Not bad. 
little less than I was expecting, but I think the other side of my closet's gonna give me a lot more <laughs> things to give away. But this is the pile of things that I'm probably keeping. It looks a little bit excessive, but I do truly wear these things all the time. So I'm gonna go through here, find those two white t-shirts and figure out which one I'm gonna keep and which one I'm gonna toss. And then we'll get to the other half of my closet. And don't mind my giraffe, George. He was made by my dad and my grandpa, who is no longer with us, so it's just a memento. <laughs> he holds all of my hats and bags and belts and all of my random things. He's my version of the chair. If you guys have a the chair, let me know. <laughs> I realized that the only way to find those two t-shirts is to organize everything, because things are falling off of hangers and stuff. So we're going to put everything from long sleeve to short sleeve to tank top in like three piles, and then... By doing that, I think I'll find the <laughs> two t-shirts that I need to look at. I'll also be able to like replace the hangers of the things that I'm keeping because some of these hangers are kind of crappy and I have hangers now that are not used. There's a giant pile of them right there. So we're going to also some there. <laughs> so we're going to replace the ones that need to be replaced and do some organizing. Hopefully hit two birds with one stone here. <laughs> Right, so my floor is a mess, but these are tank tops, these are long sleeves, these are short sleeves. So I think what I'm going to do is start putting things away. Start with the tank tops, and then we'll go to the short sleeves, and then the long sleeves. So I'll start here, and if something needs a new hanger, then I'll just replace it as I'm putting things away, just to make things a little easier and faster. I also found both of the t-shirts, so I'm going to have to try them on, see which one fits better, and then we'll give the other one away. Right, so we made a little bit of progress. There's a big gap there and there wasn't. I guess it was from that. So that's pretty cool. I guess now we have to do this side of the closet and then my closet clean out with all my clothes will be done. Look at all those hangers. Holy cow. All right, let's get to it. The number of long sleeve shirts that I own um this is the reason why I'm doing this in the first place. A lot of these things were like hand-me-downs from my grandmother and stuff, which I'll probably keep um, just for sentimentality reasons. But yeah, a lot of these things are old and need to be given away. So I'm going to do the same process, look through everything, figure out if I want to keep it or not. And if I don't want to keep it, I'll take it off the hanger and put it in the pile. Yeah, that whole situation. So... I will time lapse you through this whole process and then we'll get to putting things back. We're almost done. <laughs> has gotten much bigger. <laughs> um, this pile is not quite as small as I thought it would be, but I do truly wear these all the time. Um, some of them I might have to go through again just because they don't, you know, they're a little old. Like this blue one I might put in that pile just because I don't really wear it much anymore. But as I go through these to put them away, I'll get rid of some more probably. So we're gonna start putting these away and then I'll be done with my closet clean out. That's a bunch of like scarves and stuff that I know I'm keeping, but yeah, it's gonna go all in here. So almost done. So I thought I was done, but then I forgot about this little hidden section that I keep like my skirts and stuff in. Um, there are some things in here that are old, so I'm gonna go through this really fast and then it'll be done. All right, here's the after. So lots of space in here. Bring the other side out. There we go. That's all that I have left. I feel really good about myself. And now I have to figure out what to do with this pile. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> So that's it for this closet clean out. With that being said, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would love it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.